Hello and welcome back to Advanced Campaign. I'm Paul Dot Power, and with me are Sagavagarn. And as soon as it is. And now, having cleared Green Earth, we come to Blue Moon again. Who is that? <laughs> well, I thought about using Sammy for this. I tried using him my first go, but I just couldn't pull it off. I couldn't pull off a quick HQ capture, so. Thematically speaking, we're just sending Andy into Andy times too, which, you know, actually that's pretty sensible, isn't it, really? Yeah, yeah. you kind of have to, because it's Andy times two, not... Sammy and Andy. <laughs> yeah, Sammy <laughs> and Andy. Whoa. Sammy times one and Andy times one. <laughs> that's not exciting, Mav. That's quite the lack of anti-air units you got there. Yep, we don't get any AA. Our only AA is um, Eagle's... Air Force up there, which has been drastically reduced from normal campaign to the extent where he just can't beat Clown Andy. He just doesn't have enough stuff to do it. Clown Andy? Sorry? I thought it said Clown Andy. This mission <laughs> would be so much better if it was. <laughs> well, Andy's just a clown anyway, so. Ah, oh, that's true. It would be several for us to call him Clown Andy. Clown Andy versus Clone Andy. It is a heck of a good thing that you don't have to route in this. Well, you say that. <laughs> uh. It's not that bad, to be honest. You, I mean, it's obviously AI. So, we go start. So, sorry. Sorry, it's just so many units. It is a lot of units. At least it targets the bombers. Yeah, it, it's bomber. So Jobby far. does that because without him taking down those bombers, this mission, I think it'd be impossible without him going at least. You know, he can't achieve that much. He's going to get wiped, Eagle. But at least if he takes out down the bombers for us, it's not so bad. There is one left, though. Hmm. Well, I'm not saying he won't last a turn. He'll last a turn. Hmm. That's true. It seems like uh, the evil and only has three fighters. So. Uh, Fine. I'm trying to think. He's got. I think he's got about five fighters, Andy. Oh, there's some in the top right as well. Yeah. Part of the problem is. Oh, wait, and two more up there. Yeah, okay, off screen. <laughs> he's got six. He's got six. And two of the ones that Eagle just damaged are now back in action again. Hmm. Thanks to good old Hyper Repair. Hyper Repair? It is a good thing that the computer prioritizes not taking damage. Hmm. But those bombers could have been handy. I mean, if you'd attacked a battleship with them rather than, you know, that artillery. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Cruiser wasn't the greatest target either. Since it's pretty dead to your battleship if it tries to go south to engage you so. I don't know. I, I think it's handy that he damaged the cruiser. But... I don't know. But yeah, the good news is at least two of Eagle's fighters survived today. Whether they'll survive much longer is, is a different question, but they're still there. Meanwhile, regular old Andy is just going, Oh goodness, Eagle's pretty much dead already, what the hell, how do I... Uh, duh. <laughs> so I'm just starting to try and work out what kind of strategy I need to use to take down this battleship. And the several other battleships. <laughs> Let's see, dude, if the subs have five or six move, I forgot. You can blame Sarah Fry for this, because he was all like, Yeah, I'd totally watch a video of this with, uh, with completely uncut. I mean, this is the whole point of this is like, Oh, you do horribly on this mission. I want to see an uncut version of that. I'm like... He might have been joking. <laughs> well... I don't mind. There we go. I worked out what to do that sub in the end. I say worked out. Could have used the lander to spot the other submarine. No, it does a reef in the way. I don't need to spot the submarine. 
I know exactly what that submarine's gonna do. Oh yeah, it's gonna surface. Of course, it's Advanced Force 1 AI. <laughs> yep. I think Advanced Force 2 does that as well, to be honest. Really? Yeah, rings a bell. Hmm. So I'm just making sure that the sub can't attack this turn. At the end. This turn coming. I don't feel like that teacup is gonna last very long after Eagle's dead. No. Such a juicy target to begin with, and then give Andy five uh, fighters. Good news is he's achieved his primary goal of taking down clone Andy's bombers. Yeah. So now the fighters are kind of irrelevant, really. They'll still just show up, sort of, blocking spaces. <laughs> sometimes to the, our advantage, sometimes the enemy's advantage. If the had been smart, he could do some really nasty stuff with the fighters, just blocking off everything, since he can't even hurt them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, let's face it, I think most of normal campaign would be very, very difficult if you're actually facing a human opponent. <laughs> well, probably impossible, since the AI usually starts uh, at an advantage. Yeah. Yeah, this game is kind of built around relying on the AI to be stupid. Pretty Most much. games are. Yeah, but this game more so than others. Well, you know, they only have the GBA, whatever processor GBA had to do all this stuff in. True enough. I think they could have made some better choices for the AI programming. Probably. Like the, you know... APCs. APCs. And that submarine. Yeah. It's conserving fuel, man! <laughs> but yeah, like you see, the cruiser doesn't really move up. He's just scared of your battleship. Wait, isn't he in battleship range? Uh, yeah. <sighs> Never mind uh, then. This is right now, we've got... Bigger fish to um, sink. Could probably take it out with your sub, though. I could do. I, I think I decide that the battleship is the bigger priority right now. This may have been a bad decision. But that sub's only got a little bit of ammo, and as you notice, we don't have an APC on this map. Mm. Uh. We've only got six torpedoes. We've only got nine battleship shells. I mean, the the tank and the rocket can re re get ammo from cities, but our ships can't. So we've got a box clever with our resources here. That's a bit interesting. That almost never applies. Hmm. Well, it does quite often because if you're given an APC, quite often your your first thought is, "Ah, oh, I can use it as a decoy, rather. Ah, <laughs> oh, I can use it to keep my units fueled." Hmm. Ammo. Ammo. Um, armed. Yeah. Resupplied, or no, just supplied, I guess. Now again, I spend a bunch, waste a bunch of time just going. Should I? Should I not attack this 4 HP tank and get it off the board? It's probably a good idea since you're fighting Andy. Yeah, that's what I decided in the end. And that tank can't reach behind the lines anyway. And then I check whether that fighter can attack that lander. <laughs> I think I would have put the medium tank on the city though, so the tank goes up and attack the infantry or something. Yeah, that's what I do next turn, but uh, I had to use the medium tank to um, finish some, finish off the light tank. Yeah, but it was also standing next. It was standing in the forest there, mm. where the current light tank stands. <laughs> yeah, this is the problem with uh, leaving that light cruiser alive, especially with yeah. Andy around. Yeah. I was gonna say something. Uh, my sub can cope, just about. I mean, I'm Andy myself, so I can recover from this, but it's a bit of a pain. 
because I say those that handful of um, submarine torpedoes I get to work with. Now those yeah. torpedoes are going to be doing less damage because um, my sub's damaged. But what can I you previously do? could two shot the battleships? Now you need way more shots, mm. like three. Huh. Unless he repairs, and it's even more. Uh, I work something out. Don't worry about it too much. But it goes get dicey. I'm going, oh, I'm going to keep account of my thingies. <laughs> Moving that T-Copter out of the way just so it doesn't get killed by the AA because that is clearly the most sensible... Yeah, you know, that is clearly going to keep save that T-Copter's life. Oh, yes. It's not like there are fighter jets. No, no, no. Those aren't real fighter jets. They're just cardboard cutouts that inexplicably destroyed Eagle's fighters. <laughs> Cardboard cutouts armed with missiles. Oh, Eagle, we hardly knew ye. I mean, you could save it by moving the mech, I guess. I could. But I think I forget they're there by this point. <laughs> oh, they're only flashing in the middle of the screen. Yeah, well, <laughs> they are no longer a threat. Or to that one <laughs> T-Copter, and let's face it, this is an advanced campaign. I don't care if a T-Copter dies. Hmm. In fact, I try using that lander just to see if I can slow that enemy battleship down a bit. Because I don't want it to catch up with my battleship until I'm ready to deal with it. Oh dear. Goodbye, T-Copter. Alas, poor um, T-Copter. Yeah. But, you might notice something. That fighter there, the, the one that didn't attack the T-Copter, the other one, is now helping to make that choke point even narrower. <laughs> well, it'll probably just sit there, right? Yeah, pretty much. Also, the battleship didn't take the bait. It moved rather than attacking the lander, which surprised me. What? The real hyper-repair. Except no imitations or substitutes or, you know, clones. <laughs> oh, very nice having the park on the beach there as well. Hmm. My subs sort of holding together. And you have That's just enough fun. you have just enough torpedoes left to take out that battleship. Yeah, when you look I think it'll survive actually. It's got two torpedoes left, I think. Yeah, and you do have forty two percent damage, so probably survive with one health. Mm. Then get repaired. I'm not entirely sure this is the best decision, because again it's wasting a battleship cannon shot, but it's just there's so many medium tanks I feel like I've got to try and you know thin them out a bit before they get to the army yeah no definitely medium tanks are the hardest uh, unit on the field right now mm. these battleships are too afraid to move forward anyway also I don't think you have to care about the battleship that's to the south at least try to stay out of range of your battleship as long as you can kill the northern one you should be fine going, mm. pushing north. Yeah, as long as you save some ammo on the battleship. Yeah, I'm not sure if the AI actually takes that into account. <laughs> Maybe it does. I think um, they'll notice when a unit is completely out of ammo. Mm. But they won't notice when it's low. Uh. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that was not that favorable of assault. Yeah, it's a medium tank. It's sitting on a city. I'm Andy. <laughs> that choke point could hold for pretty much forever. <laughs> Well, let's see if we can finish off this top battle. Well, start. Start off this top battleship. Yeah, I don't think the sub's going to be able to handle this battleship alone, though. It's going to need some backup. Yeah. And you're not close to repairing it again either. No. I think it needs to be a max health to have a chance of taking it out. 
the one the one perpetual disadvantage you have against the AI in this game is that they're always getting CO powers, far more CO powers than you do, because they have more units to, to throw away than you do. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'm just speaking of CO powers. I'm just thinking which am I best off attacking here, and I figure. Yeah, take a peek. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, he's gonna. Oh. Get it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. There we go. Take out the low. Take out the ones that. You know, kills are important here because otherwise they'll get health back. Could have probably have knocked out the seven health one instead though. Hmm. Yeah, thinking about it, you're right. Spending far too much time going, hmm. Ranges on this battleship. Wow, it can reach so far. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna think about this. I'm not quite sure why I didn't just move the lander all the way into range and the battleship all the way into range. Or maybe I couldn't move the battleship into range, maybe that's what all that was about. I, I forgot what he was saying. Let's see. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. They got five move, right? Yeah. So yeah, you could only move it that far. Fair enough. Because of the uh, read. Oh wait, you could have moved it to the right on north of the land actually. Never mind. You're dumb. <laughs> it works. In the end. See when you say the end that's like can be a very long time. Yeah, there is that. Now we're being followed. Submarine keeps chipping away. Yeah, let's just stop for that now. I think it's it might be out of uh, ammo now by now though. Yeah, it is. Yeah. What I wouldn't give for Jess's CO CO power in this situation. Can you Im just imagine a CO that had Andy's power and Jess's power at the same time? That would just be crazy. Ah. Uh. To be like, screw you, Drake. Yeah, it's like the opposite Drake. Well, I suppose, uh, I suppose you get that kind of thing, don't you? In, in Dual Strike, you can just tag team Andy and Jess and say, right, this is the anti Drake team. <laughs> yeah, but then you have Drake and someone else that's. <sighs> True. Well, of course, I mean, the classic in, in Dual Strike, isn't it? It's, it's Drolaf. <laughs> Drake and Olaf. Or Drake and Eagle, not Eagle, Hawk. Well, Dr I mean, Drake and Hawk have their own issues because they have that, that, that tag penalty, don't they? I think. But, uh, Dr yeah, I mean, Drake and Olaf is a classic because um, you just do four damage to the entire enemy team and then you get several days of snow. <laughs> also, snow makes the enemy lose fuel faster and you've just halved their fuel. It's silly. Everything is silly in that game. Yeah, true. That's the point of that game. It is. How much silliness can we fit into one game? Oh, and you didn't move your lander up. Well, ye yeah, thinking about it, that probably would have been the best thing. I could have used it as a decoy for the northern battleship. And not taking damage on my own battleship. Oh well. Yeah, I made a lot of derpy decisions in this, I think. <laughs> but you still came out on top. In a manner of speaking. <laughs> so here's our ammoless sub. It's not fit for much now. Except for a bit of decoy work. Yeah, until it sinks on its own. Oh, and you're so oh. close to see a power too. Not that that would help the sub out much. No, but the uh, battleship would have been yeah, there is that. 
I don't know, that's what she felt. So I'm thinking, I'm gonna try and decoy this of a battleship with the sub. Can you spot the error? I mean, it doesn't matter that much in the end, but... Yeah, the rocket. Yeah. It's a good thing that you throw them away, though. It's just free CEO power. Mm. Although you probably reached the CEO power now, anyway. That's oh, good. almost. <laughs> I know, so I, was, I was thinking at this point, can I just get over the line? Can I get over the line get that CEO power running this turn? Well, at least I know Clonan is away, away from getting yeah. his. And here's a problem with that fighter sitting there. It's been helping us, but now we're going, oh, how are we going to finish off these last two infantry? Cleverly. Because you can't... Well, all you can really do is just bash at them. You can't really find a maneuver around them and get into the... You know, get get more than one shot in at a time. One pixel react. away from the sea of power. Oh boy. Well... At least I get it now. The sub is now fuel for it. As is his infantry. Yeah. That I sort of forgot about. Whoops. I can't remember if I forgot about him or I was just actually setting him up as extra bait, but. Oh well. At least we'll get to repair some of the damage on that battleship. Yep. And the medium tank is now back at full health again and just ready to keep bullying these poor infantry. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a clear path to these HQ now. Yeah, other than fi that, that fighter just sitting there, sort of narrowing down the choke point to make it just hard to get through. Yeah. Is the rocket out of ammo? And the fact that I'm not sure, I think I do re ammo yeah. this to. Yeah, it's out of ammo, yeah. Problem is, other than the medium tank, all the unit, all the land units I have have really terrible moves. So it's a slow process mm. getting around the top. And even the medium tank's not a great move. I mean, look, I consider going for the attack here, but I figure I'm sitting on a city, it's going to repair the damage back. I don't know. I'm going to consider doing it again. <laughs> and again. Just keep thinking about it. Uh, <laughs> Thank goodness this isn't Fog of War. Uh, well, at least infantry have crazy, crazy fuel, so you don't have to worry about that too much. But I mean, infantry are like the one unit in the game that's likely to run out of fuel. I've made it happen. That's impressive. So my new plan to get rid of this last battleship is uh, to try and trap the battleship so that you know it's got the rocket and the and my battleship to fire at, and whatever it attacks, there's still going to be something left that can attack it. Mm. A classic. Um, I want to call it a fork, like in chess, but it's a bit different from a fork because that's when. Actually, I don't do it. It looks like I don't do it this turn. I do it next turn, maybe. Because I'm silly. Now, I'm considering uh, whether I should actually attack something with the battleship this turn, but I'm also thinking. Uh, it's only got four bullets, four shells left. And you're saving them for oh, what think... exactly? There you go. Uh, enemy battleship, <laughs> really. But yeah, so if you want to shoot that battleship four times. Yeah, fair enough. Well, you never know. This is Andy we're talking. This is clone Andy we're fighting mm. here. He can yes make life annoying by healing stuff up but again. Shoot it four times before yours gets destroyed. Yeah, it's not very likely. And it's just so easy to ignore anyway. Mm. He's just sitting there now.
I'm trying to think, is this finally the point where I pluck up the courage to actually have both the rocket and the battleship just go in and you know, target saturate? At least you can sit on the forest with the rocket, I guess. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Although if you go north one more turn, you might be able to sit in a city instead. Yeah, but I don't think the... Yeah, if he, if he went north one more tile, but he's, he's got to do that first. Thinking about... <laughs> important tactical considerations. <laughs> Almost! <laughs> Almost did it! <laughs> oh! You're committed now. There we go. The die is cast. They're crossing the Rubicon. There we go. Escape now, Mr. Battleship. Yeah, he yeah, actually might. Speaking of escape. Yay! Build a path. A path for this incredibly slow moving mech. The only thing left in the way is that rocket. Well, you say the only thing left. The, the only important thing left in the way, but that doesn't necessarily mean I don't consider, you know, in my weird way, I don't think, oh man, I've got to kill everything else. <laughs> Oh no, that lander is going to disrupt my capture process, no! That missile ah. launcher! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get that power score up. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get that speed score down. <laughs> yeah. That seems to be the main thought process here. Uh-oh, that was a bad time to attack the battleship. Oh, is humanly possible. Yeah, well, you know, I've got to attack, if I didn't attack it, They'll be sitting here forever. Yes, which would be totally fine. <laughs> eh, I guess. <laughs> but I gotta destroy. I gotta destroy everything. I don't care that I still have three foot soldiers left who are all incap perfectly capable of capturing the HQ. You're oh. out for blood. Pretty much. Out for blood, and also planes running dry on fuel. Hey, we, we, we're doing alright here. I've got the upper hand in this fight with a battleship, even if it is going to get hyper-repaired. Hmm. Kinda looks like it will survive though. Hmm. I don't know. I've got an 8 to 6 HP advantage. As do you get the first shot as well. I think I've got this. Although, we'll, we'll go down to 2. Yeah. I'll take you down to, what, 7 or 6, and still die. It's your final yeah. shot. Go. And now comes the most exciting part of the mission, which is getting the mechs and the infantry all the way over there. Don't forget to capture properties on the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, you gotta get all the captures. So get the uh, most income possible. Indeed. <laughs> well, by this point, it's mostly force of habit. I mean, I don't think I finished that capture. Yeah, but... I also do that when I'm past it. It's... There's no point in not doing that. You know, if something really weird happens and you need to capture that city, at least you're hopefully. Yeah. Oh, it must be weird from the, the unit's point of view. Alright, man, we've got to take this city! It's our number one priority. Oh, wait, no, let's not bother finishing off. I think they like jumping on the city stuff. Like a giant yeah. trampoline. Must be the best part of the job. <laughs> well, we get shot at, and we get bombed, but it's all worth it for that one moment. Well, that was a turn. Yeah. So you may have noticed, yep, out of fuel. That's like, uh, out of ammo, yeah, the battleship. Also, speaking of things running out of fuel... Yeah. 
as far as again dangerously close to I mean that one in the top right is down to 34 yeah, seven turns which is yeah, seven turns and that's the one with the most fuel so if I can kill everything else or capture well well yeah I could do that there goes one hey. Andy's next two turns are just his fighters dying, aren't they? Well, one of them. I think yeah, he does spend a lot of time sort of blowing up. I mean, you could win in five turns if you capture, I think. Two, three. Something like that. So you're kind of right in that I am to a degree out for blood by this point. <laughs> and that rocket launcher. Now, do you use that battleship? Battleships have ammo. Yeah, but do you use it as bait for the rockets? Oh no, never mind. You can just shoot them in the face. Me too. Yeah, why not? Totally missed the beach. Totally did not see that. <laughs> The all important beach. Don't forget about the beach. How many wars have been won and lost because someone forgot about the beach? <laughs> well, World War Two. Yeah, Hitler kind of remembered the beach there. I guess. Mm. Didn't help him much though. He kind of forgot about the beach uh, at um, what's it called? Come on, brain. Right, right, like at the start of the war, the British Dunkirk. Expeditionary Force... Dunkirk, there we go. They kind of forgot about the beach there, I guess. Yeah. And once again, the, Brit the English Channel being weirdly helpful to England, like, Anyone, anyone ever tries to invade England, it's like, nope, we're going to be rough and choppy, and you're going to be screwed. <laughs> when they were trying to evacuate from Dunkirk, it decided to be as calm as possible, and just like... <laughs> How nice of it. Anyway, let's kill this lander. Yes. <laughs> this, this lander that is such a threat. <laughs> At yeah, this point, even know how to use it. But who cares? And instead of trying to capture the HQ... <laughs> At this oh, point, it's oh. almost faster to just kill everything than capture the HQ. No, it's not because of the fighter. <laughs> Almost! <laughs> <laughs> and he would still kill that missile faster with the mech anyway, so... <laughs> it's tunnel vision. I've got to do it. I've got to... ...win this by route. If you capture it this turn, you'll still save a round. It's the red mist. Paul! The HQ is right there. There's the tile next to you. AIs don't have feelings, it's not like you're <laughs> rubbing its nose into the ground or something. It's the principle of the thing. <laughs> Principles against AIs isn't really useful. They don't care. I just want to prove to Sturm that his plan was completely wrong and that he couldn't take over the world with clones. Uh, 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 there's only the only one thing Andy. he learned is to not clone the idiot. He felt the idiot who's currently beating his <laughs> idiots. Yes. Barely. The idiot with the positional the advantage. Hey, yeah, oh, hey, now that you're one turn too late, you do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, lads, we got this. Uh, you did nothing, Eagle. We won. Uh, <laughs> it's worth it for the completely empty speed what the bar. Fuck the Paul, what are you doing? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I think I broke something. Oh, no! How is the bar empty? There's nothing there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. What well, the thing is? Would it be? Would it have still been empty if I'd saved that extra turn by capturing when I had the Probably chance? Not. 
Yeah, it probably has to do something mm. really different. We'll never know. Mm. It's a win. Uh, look, I'm, I'm all the way. I'm, I'm, you know, only two missions to go. Technically, it was a win. Any landing you can walk away from. Pretty much. So, our old friend Sturm. Mr. Teapot for a head. Oh, hey, Fog of War. Was it that last time? Yeah. No, it wasn't Fog of War. So, this is another one of these missions where the fog just said, you know what, let's come in. Other than that, I think if I use Max here, it shouldn't be too bad. No, your wreck is uh, I mean, terrible Sturm. defense. Yeah. Pretty much. Oh well, see you next bye -bye. time. Bye bye. Bye.